Hey guys, welcome back. Um, short video this week, just gonna take you along on a, a run with me and uh, show you what I wear when it's cold. So it was 27 degrees this morning when I went out for a run. It did warm up to probably the 30s. Um, I went up to the Guild Hardy Trail on Lookout Mountain. But I thought it'd be fun um, just to show you what I wear in those cold conditions. Used to, I would only run if it was like 40 degrees or warmer. Now I've kind of gotten where if you have the right clothes or kind of uh, acclimatization, it doesn't really matter. I was just going to show you. So uh, base layer um, for me is just a always just a dry fit shirt. Doesn't really matter what brand. Um, I like it because it breathes really well. Even when you get sweaty, um, it just kind of doesn't make you too hot. doesn't make you too cold. Just a good um, just layer between you. I've got on cooler weathers this is a, actually like a thin cycling jacket um, but i like it running it's not too thick so i don't typically get too hot if i do i can take it off just kind of bundle it up and it can stow away pretty easy uh, i didn't get hot today so i wore this the whole time i was kind of between um, wearing shorts or pants it was below 30 so i went with pants um, these are just some joggers uh, i think they're actually pretty cheap from target but any pair of joggers would be fine i think actually running i would have been fine in shorts um, i warmed up after a couple of miles so um, but the pants were fine i didn't get overly hot either uh, as far as socks goes i've been wearing these uh, toe socks and they look extremely funny uh, each toe has its own little thing like a glove but i get blisters on the tip of my toes and and i've been running in these for about a month and they seem to be helping, so I'm probably going to order some new pairs, but I've been using them on trail runs or longer runs. Uh, I did wear a pair of gloves, and at first, the first two or three miles, I thought they weren't the right gloves. Uh, but then after about three miles, I warmed up. and actually took them off for a little while until I came back down the mountain when it got a little cool and I had to put them back on. But these are just a, a thin pair of uh, mountain bike gloves, and typically what I wear if it's like 40, in the 40s or so. But they work pretty well today. I started out in a uh, just a Patagonia skull cap um, just to keep my head warm. I actually got hot after three miles and, and I didn't wear this most of the run. Uh, I wish I had just taken a hat or something just for my ears, but uh, that was fine. Um, I have a little arm sleeve for my phone. Uh, this is my trail pack. So if I go or have to drive somewhere I like this, it can hold a bladder for water. Um, which may be important in the summer, but for me, I just use uh, the front and I don't have it, but I have a little water bottle that goes in these pouches. And then on the other pouch, I'll either stow um, camera or phone. And then I can store like my car keys. Uh, I stored um, just a little bar. This is just a fruit bar. I didn't end up eating it, but I had it just in case I needed some nutrition. And then like if you get hot, you can throw your hat, gloves, whatever in the back. So I like the pack. Um, I don't always run with this one, but if I'm going pretty long, uh, I'll use it. And then it works pretty well to keep my back warm as well. And I don't get overly hot. It's got like a good mesh. Um, so that's, that's my pack. Uh, I like to track my heart rate and I find that the wrist straps don't work real well. So I've got just the basic Garmin run heart rate monitor. Uh, as far as watch goes, I'm running in the Garmin 735 XT. So this is a multi-sport watch, um, triathlon, swim, bike, run, but works really well. It has the heart rate uh, kind of monitor on the wrist. Doesn't work real well um, for a lot of sports. It's probably okay for running, but I still like to pair it with the, the heart rate strap. Um, headphones, uh, just whatever you prefer to run in. I think these are a brand called PLB Fits. Uh, I've had them for a few years. Uh, I run in these or just some AirPods. Um, I actually destroyed Kristen's AirPods. Uh, so they became my Kristen's AirPods, but they work. Uh, Yeti cup, this is what I took coffee in on the way there. And then after a two hour run, it was still hot. So I got to enjoy some coffee when I was finished. Uh, camera I use today is what's being filmed now, but this is a little case. It's the DJI Osmo Pocket, and it's got a little um, camera built into it on a, on a gimbal or a Steadicam. So 
It's the first time I've ever run with it. My GoPro was completely dead, so hopefully the footage turned out okay. And then last and most importantly, if you're going to uh, obviously hike or run is shoes. Uh, all the rest of this is kind of runner's or hiker's choice. Uh, and then same for shoes, but you want a good solid pair of shoes. Um, so I'm running in the Hoka One One Speed Goats, and uh, I've been running these for a couple of months on trails. And honestly, like on trails or roots or rocks, uh, these just make me feel a little more in invincible. As long as I don't trip, then um, they have like a rock plate so you don't feel all the rocks and roots. But those make every like all the difference when you're out there running on trails and things. So all, obviously all this is individual choice. Uh, this is just what I would go to. Um, and it'll vary based on the weather. So again, may wear shorts instead of pants, may not wear the jacket uh, in various ways. But um, I like to start cold and kind of strip down or start cold and warm up. If you overdress, what ends up happening, you get hot, you have to take things off. So then you're just carrying more things. Uh, what I typically find is I'm going to warm up in two or three miles and then I may have to strip some layers, but I don't have too much to take off. So that's me. That's what I did today. Um, next up, you'll see just some footage from the, the run itself. And thanks for sticking around. Hope you like it. Uh, don't be scared to go in hot or cold. Uh, it may be, you know, kind of bad at first, but you will acclimatize to it. Um, so I'll do this now. It took me a couple months to get used to running cold and then with warmer days coming, I'll have to transition back to hot. But really, uh, if you're going to do something year round, you just have to go out there in the elements, do what you have to to get used to it, uh, and then your body will adapt to it. We're, we're humans, we're highly adaptable, and we're not meant to stay inside in, in like nice wet weather and perfect climates all the time. So I encourage you to go outside no matter what time of year it is, no matter what the conditions are. Uh, be safe, but uh, have fun and get out there and exercise. So thanks guys. So we're going to run the Guild and Hardy Trail, or Guild Hardy Trail today. Uh, it's 26, 27 degrees, but uh, early in the day, sun's up, get after it. Try to hit about 13 miles today um, total. Uh, just somewhere different. Been wanting to run up here for a while. And, uh, Heard a guy talk about it in a podcast this week and thought, well, what better week than just to get up and do it? It's a beautiful day and uh, looking forward to this one. Ruby Falls. So Ruby Falls, if you're not from around here, you go down in a big cave underground in the mountain. And there's a big underground waterfall. And uh, they do different things for different seasons. So if you're in Chattanooga, it's a really cool place to check out. Tourist attraction. Took me a couple miles, but finally warmed up. So I had to lose the hat. All right, it's about five miles out from the car, and I must have missed the trail that goes up to Cravens, which is fine. So I'm still just running this double track with gravel. So I'll figure what I'll do. I'll just run six and a half out and then six and a half back to get the 13. All right, there you go. 
go. Halfway mark. 6.55 miles done. And uh, it says there's a spring that way, but it's another half mile. And though 14 isn't that much more than 13, I think I'll just stick with 13 miles for the day. So now we're gonna hike back up, which in ultra running is a good skill. The faster you hike, the faster you go. And depending on where you're racing or running, there'll be a lot of hiking or just a little hiking. All right, so back on the regular double track, just at seven miles. So see you back at the car and uh, wrap this run up in about six miles. So that's uh, part of the track for the incline railroad. road. Goes up the mountain from St. Elmo up there to uh, next to Point Park. Um, pretty cool if you've never done it. Another good tourist attraction in Chattanooga. It goes really steep. Uh, the time we did it, Maggie was only like two months old, but James absolutely loved it. So another recommended tourist Chattanooga attraction. Alright, so just got back to the car, um, great run today, ended up getting 13.2 miles in, just over 1,100 feet of gain, which wasn't too bad, it's a little less than I thought it was going to be, um, just over two hours, I think it went like two hours, eight minutes or so, uh, I got back, coffee's still hot in the Yeti, so thank you, uh, Yeti, for making great coffee cups, um, Felt good. It's not nearly as cold. It's probably warmed up 10 or so degrees in the, probably in the thirties at this point. Uh, so yeah, no, I'll, I'll definitely be back for this one. Um, so it'd be a good place to like run with a buddy cause it was wide. So you could technically run like next to each other and chat. It wasn't like too winding. Uh, but yeah, if you're out, you want to find a good place to hike or bike or, uh, walk or run, then I, I do recommend the Guild Hardy trail. That was it was really nice. There's a lot of uh, trails that spur off of it as well. So you can make a whole day or two days or, or whatever. So uh, if you aren't, hit the like button. Uh, make sure you hit subscribe to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys have a, a great week again. And uh, thanks for watching. Um, get out there. Do some hard stuff. Find the sunshine. Uh, it definitely makes me feel better. So thanks, guys. Y'all have a good week. And uh, see you next week.